Today we will speak about the creation of a bank statement in Odoo v8. So first of all we go to accounting, bank statement and we press on create. We enter a reference, the name of the bank statement. Generally we will enter the month, the year and if the bank statement is not from the first uh, of the month to the end of the month we will have the tendency to also maintain the dates of the bank statements. Then we need to choose a journal. Then we enter the starting balance that we have on the paper. In this case is 245 euro. We enter the date of the bank statement. Every bank statement has a date and when there is no date you can basically take the last date of the bank statement. After this we will enter the ending balance. In this case it is minus 987 and we save it. So at the moment we have absolutely no transactions for the month and in order to enter the transaction we go into the edit modus. Automatically the date taken is the date of the bank statement. We need to change it and to give the real date that we find on the paper. In the field communication we enter what the bank has written in the communication. If we need more information, we will enter this in the field reference. Then we choose the partner, the amount, and we can press save. This way we can enter another item exactly the same. In the second case, we have the payment for the rent. And in that case, we do not have an invoice for the rent, we just have a monthly payment. And this is important because we're not going to give any partner number. And because it's a payment, we will have a minus. It's a payment that we do of 1599 Euro, so we put a minus in front of it. The computed balance is computed every time we save the bank statement and you see the computed balance does not match. At the moment we still have some data to enter. So we go back in the edit modus and we add another item. We choose the date we enter the communication exactly the way it is entered on the bank statement and we choose the partner here we enter a minus because it's a payment that we have done to the partner called Riyadh. After this we can save. So if we look at the bank statement we see that our bank statement is in blue and the other is in red. But the ending balance is perfect. The work is still not done. We need to reconcile. So we press on the button reconcile. On the button reconcile you see the first entry we enter the partner Lola and the partner is automatically selected here. The system automatically selected the very first entry that he found uh, that could match this payment. But in this case we are not happy with it so we go on the left side, we press on the minus sign and we will select something that has the proper amount or something near the proper amount and we click on the plus sign and it goes up and now the system shows us that there is a difference of 2 euro and this is the reason why it's not reconciled yet so we can create a write-off. 
in this case we will enter the bank charges so we search for the account for bank charges and then the system says everything is all right so he's ready and he will accept to press uh, he will present the OK. We will uh, change just the label for us to remember that it was a linked a payment chart that was linked to the payment of Lola. So when this is done we can press on the button OK and on the top you will see we have already one done out of three. So let's look at the second one. In the second one we don't have a partner, it's a rent that we pay every month. In that case we just click on choose a counterpart and we choose the rental account. So we press rent and the system selects an account and we just post it directly. In the third case it's an uh, invoice that you have received so it's a supplier invoice and the system has chosen the proper one so everything is okay I just checked here on the right side the document to make sure that the dates are correct that I'm choosing a document uh, that has uh, that is really uh, pending I could also say oh it's not correct and change uh, the partner to Eva la cliente uh, but in this case I don't find anything so the balance is still open so it's, it's not uh, this one just wanted to show you that we can uh, change the partner if we have uh, done a mistake in the previous screen and when I change the partner I can always look is this the amount and if it is not then I can go back to um, the partner, the first partner that I thought was uh, linked to this very payment. In this case it's Riyadh. So I will click on Riyadh after checking the document on the right side. I see that the amount is okay but I may also decide that I want to keep it open. So in this case I keep it open. So now basically it's done. Let us go back to the statement. You see the statement now on the left side shows the button closed so we could just close the, button, the statement. But in this case we are not very sure about this very last line so we want to check it again. So in order to cancel what we have done so far we need to press on the small bar cancel button on the right side. The system tells us that the journal does not allow cancelling. In this case, before we do the cancel, I want to show a little bit what we have in the journal items. At the moment that you start reconciling, the system is creating journal items. You can see here on the right side. So what I have in the journal items I have all the entries that I have created through reconciliation and I also can see because of the star in front of the number that these entries are not yet posted into the system. And for one of the entry I have a reconciliation done so I also have a reconciliation number that normally starts with an A. I could go into the document and look what I have there and you see the two euro that I put um, into the bank charges and here on the right side the reconciliation. I can click on the reconciliation number and then it opens in the background the, the document that was reconciled. This would allow me for instance to unreconcile them by going to more and clicking on unreconcile entries. This is quite useful if you make a mistake with the reconciliation what happens quite often at the start. So let us 
the care of the third one here Riyadh and we cancel it the system still does not allow the cancelling so now we want to change the system to allow cancelling entries let's go to the journal in the configuration we click on journals and then we select the journal in this case it's the bank journal so the second one we click it we press edit and then on the right side we say allow cancelling entries you must know that it's not allowed in all countries so be very cautious and check if it's allowed in your country before you do this now we can cancel the position so the position with Riyad is cancelled if I go to the journal items you see that at the moment I only have two documents in the journal item I used to have three of them I only have two documents and you don't see anything with the partner Riyad so let us go back to the reconciliation I click again on reconcile and now the system automatically finds the entry with 311. Uh, I press OK and the system says everything is all right. So now I am ready to close. I just show you very quickly that I have a new journal entry created, number 15 and also that I have a reconciliation reference A4 it's done I can press on the button close and my work is done see the system shows me that it's closed if we now go to the journal item you will see and the journal entry has changed it changed from star plus a number to the name of the journal so you also can see that the system now asks for a cancelling of the entry so at the moment this is really posted in the system at that moment that was it for today thank you for watching <music>